Hello friends, welcome to the cool Vedas, that's Veda school. Today, let's see the story of the huge elephant and tortoise who always fought with each other. Kashyapa began the story of the elephant and tortoise to Garuda thus. Once, there lived two brothers, Vibhavasu and Supratika, who were both sages engaged in very ascetic penances. Vibhavasu, the elder one, was susceptible to anger. Supratika, the younger one among the two, was keen to partition their family wealth and he made repeated attempts to achieve this. One day, Vibhavasu called his brother and said, Supratika, you should know that men deluded by greed are keen to partition wealth and once the partition is done, they fight with each other. When family quarrel among each other, even enemies approach them under the guise of friends and cause further problems between the brothers or the family. And soon, the separated family finds themselves in utter ruin. It is for this reason that the wise do not speak well of those who cause separation in family. Such an act of partition is not recommended in Shastras too. As those who are thus separated remain ever suspicious of each other. Thus, this is the reason why I do not want separating the family wealth, O oh my dear brother. But Supratika still insisted on partition. Angered by this, Vibhavasu cursed his brother, saying, Since you are ever intent on partitioning wealth, may you take birth as an elephant. Hearing this, Supratika cursed his brother back. You will be born as a tortoise, roaming the waters, he said. Now, anger and greed thus caused them both brothers to be born as animals. Driven by pride, they continued to exhibit hostility towards each other. When the elephant would approach the water with a loud blare, the tortoise residing in the lake would come out with great force, causing huge turbulence. The elephant would then respond by agitating the lake with its tusk, trunk, tail and legs. Saying this story of the elephant to tortoise, Kashyapa said his son to go and eat those ever quarrelling brothers and fill his stomach. You have all my blessings to be victorious in your quest for Amrita. Saying this, Kashyapa bid goodbye to his son. Garuda then flew to the sacred lake. There, he saw the huge tortoise and elephant again fighting among each other. Garuda soon flew down on them and grasped the elephant in one claw and the tortoise in the other claw. With the brothers in his claws, he then flew to the sky, searching for a suitable place to eat them. He see soon reached a beautiful place named Alamva. It was decked with sacred trees with precious gems on its branches. But the trees, seeing Garuda and his prey, started trembling with fear. Garuda looked on for a huge tree when he saw a very, very huge, magnificent banyan tree there. The banyan tree, seeing Garuda, spoke thus, O oh, mighty bird, come, sit on one of my branches and have your meal. Hearing this from the magnificent tree, Garuda flew down to one of its branches. But alas, even such a big tree could not carry Garuda's weight. It broke down under his weight. Garuda quickly grabbed the broken branch with his beak. To his utter surprise, he saw the great Valakilya Rishis meditating by hanging upside down on this broken branch. 
worried and confused about what, she, what he should do to not harm the rishis, Garuda flew around. With the elephant in one claw, the tortoise in other claw, and the broken branch with the Valakilya rishis in his beak. Now, what will Garuda do? Will he end harming the ascetic rishis? Or will somebody come to his help? Let's find out. Please like, share and subscribe this channel for more Mahabharata stories. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Thank you. Namaste.